Predicting the future, researchers at the University of Maryland have examined how certain changes could affect the quality of life for people in the Baltimore, Washington area about 20 years from now. Avajoy Burnett has more from one of the researchers as they touch on elements that will affect everyone. The researchers analyzed traffic patterns and how that is all intertwined with where people live and how much they pay to live there. 2040 is a year of researchers have been eyeing. Experts at the University of Maryland College Park say by 2040, urban sprawl will not only impact the housing markets around the D.C. area, but also up 95 in Baltimore. I consider one of the biggest concerns to be the price of housing, the cost of housing. Um, in the Baltimore area and in the Washington, D.C. area in particular uh, is on people's mind constantly. The findings are part of what's called the Presto Project, and researchers analyzed multiple variables, including traffic. In a region notorious for gridlock, researchers predict self-driving cars could take up more space on the roads. Researchers say they also found the technology could alleviate congestion because autonomous cars may be able to drive faster than this. With self-driving cars, we expect people to move much further out because it'll be much more comfortable to commute a very long distance. But that's just one variable. If traffic does in fact get worse and gas prices go up, researchers believe people will opt to live in downtown areas like Baltimore. So if you know prices get really high in Baltimore County and Howard County uh, and congestion gets really bad, uh, the city will have a natural advantage um, for certain populations looking uh, to get out of those situations. Researchers say one of the simplest ways to manage housing costs is for government officials to open up more land so that more housing can be built. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ. Researchers say they've also analyzed the environmental impact more development would have on natural resources like the bay. They say some scenarios show little impact while others show significant loss to farmland.